Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, March 7th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com, and on YouTube is ddarko2012, and my new backup channel is ddarko2013. All right, so you just saw the Cheeto, Cheeto Robot by DARPA, and um, I like to keep tabs on that thing because, like I said, you know, again, check out my video, Battle for uh, Planet of Victims. You'll see it. I threw it in there at the end, right around the fenced-in area with the barbed wire and the helicopters because, uh, you know, and people were joking about it saying, oh, you know, it looks stupid and cheesy and it looks like a bug or something like that. Well, you know, you're not going to be laughing when these things are feeding off your flesh with the technology exists. And that's how they're going to be able to operate as far as their power source is going to be you after they kill you and eat you and chew you up. So it's not really a big joke. And uh, these things will be used for people, uh, the outsiders, those that want to get off the grid and don't want to move forward into this brave new world will be living underground much like Demolition Man I've mentioned before, or living on the outskirts in the wilderness. But uh, it doesn't really matter because every single um, slave needs to be accounted for and every uh, single slave needs to be uh, attracted. So there's not going to be, and every single uh, parcel of earth, that's what I want to say, is going to be divvied up and owned um, by this uh, global elite. So the uh, you know you're going to be out there in the woods trying to get away from it all but you're going to have things like that chasing you down so that's just the, how i see it guys um un meets millennium development goal on drinking water so the un has met their goal for drinking water now 89 percent of the population of the world have access to improved water supply improved well it depends on what you consider to be improved is it better is there no fluoride is there no chlorine is there no um prescription drugs no but they do uh the same uh, organization uh the who which is a sub corporate uh, sub corporation that's basically what it is of the united nations uh the world death uh, organization the who is responsible and it really they're always talking about what uh, sustainability and there's too many people on the earth and the world's population is growing and sustainability well sustainability means eugenics it means lowering the population so they don't really care about uh, really getting good uh, water to people but if it does have fluoride in it then you know then it's a plus right because there's many things including birth defects that come along with this so plans for fluoride in all water this is from may 2003 and this is of course in the uk i believe it was britain so ministries are planning to allow fluoride to be added to all drinking water in England and Wales and is being reported. So uh, what is the first thing uh, most com people with common sense have or how they act? Fears over fluoride plans. This article is weird because uh, there's no date, there's no comments. It's in just weird small font. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess they don't want people to, to, to uh, access this article. So kind of like an article in the last video where I went back to it on the examiner.com and it was actually pulled. So no longer available. Ministers have triggered a major health uh, row by unveiling plans to allow fluoride to be added to all drinking water in England and in Wales. Water companies will be forced to add fluoride if local health authorities order it, despite controversy over the long-term effects of the health. So it doesn't really matter what people care about their health. Uh, it doesn't even matter whether the water uh, uh, suppliers you know, don't even recommend it. Uh, your sellouts in government are going to um, get good contracts from the aluminum and pesticide manufacturers uh, to dump that toxic waste into your water because otherwise they're going to have to pay for it to be um, processed, that toxic waste, so they actually get paid to dump it into your uh, children, your uh, your body. So it says here, Camel Ford, water poisoning, aluminum and uh, brain beyond belief. Woman who, remember I covered this before, I'm going to tie it in with the next article, who lived in a town where aluminum sulfate was added to the water supplies, aluminum levels in, which her, in her brain, which were beyond belief. And uh, then I caught this article, which is uh, ubiquitous, nature of aluminum leading to increased exposure. Aluminum is used in a large majority of food packaging and household supplies is an established neurotoxin at high levels. It says, although touted by the EPA as residing at safe levels in nearly all products and in drinking water, uh, this health running toxin, uh, ruining toxin is being ingested at levels we simply don't know are safe. So, and then there's an individual who actually, uh, and a professor who does uh, research on the subject and uh, says here he's researched a massive daily exposure to aluminum, the dangers of 
the substance in antiperspirants and sunscreen, uh, aluminum found in vaccines and infant formula, and much more. We know aluminum can be toxic, yet there is no legislation to govern how much of it is present in anything. You know, the funny thing is that the, the oxides of aluminum are being sprayed in the sky, so... You know, it's in your water, it's in the vaccine. So, like I said, go hide in the woods. You can, you really just have to put your head in the sand like an ostrich if you don't want to uh, know about this. Or if you want it to go away, it's almost like you have to bury your head in the sand and then it'll go away. Because if you try to try to uh, fight this to get it together, so many people have so many different views and opinions that nothing actually ever gets done. That's what I found, that the elites, the Luciferians, somehow their small little cabal, their little death cult, uh, is able to get things done. It's probably because they've always had control and power over uh, people because they have the ancient knowledge and they rewrite history. And they have a lot of the, uh, they always have the world's resources, i.e. Uh, uh, they always have the, the reserves of gold and, and stuff like that, so, and oil. So they're able to get things done and they're able to push these, uh, uh, their own private governments like the United Nations after funding uh, uh, world wars and whatnot and creating uh, 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 institutions or philanthropic uh, organizations in the name of helping you and saving people while at the same time calling for killing and culling uh, three-fourths of the population. But they do get things done. So in that respect, I tip my hat to them. So I just wish the uh, my, uh, all the people out here, the quote, 99%, would just, would just at least, um, uh, you know, come together on something, but they can't. And my own personal view is because they have, they lost God. They don't have God at all. They don't believe in it. They don't want to believe in it. And as long as that happens, I don't think it's ever going to work out for us here. We're just going to be uh, witnesses. That's what we'll be. We'll be witnesses to this uh, uh, holocaust of what? Of a moral society. So I'm sorry I keep going on about that, but either way, it says fewer premature births after a smoking ban in Scotland. So since Scotland introduced a ban on smoking in public places, i.e., taking away your freedom, it says here there has been a 10% drop in country's premature birth rate. So just be a responsible smoker, you know what I mean? You don't have to ban everything. I know some people are Nazis about secondhand smoke and whatnot. But uh, it says here, Roundup birth defects. Regulators' new world's best-selling herbicides causes problems, new report finds. So they're just going to link this little smoking ban with uh, fewer premature births. So it's not really based off anything. It's just a link, just kind of like cancer and uh, smoking. So, you know, there are people that will smoke to 100 years old, and they're fine. So it's all about the links and how they can sell research. Uh, you know, because again, the, the the death cabal has their own. You know, they it's all about science, right? It's all about science, and they know how to manipulate the data to get the results that they want. A uh, big example is global warming, and that genetically modified soy linked to sterility and infant mortality. So GMO and uh, Roundup is linked to. Uh, infant mortality, sterility, uh, common pesticides, double children's risk of ADHD. So, you know, the government really cares a lot about infants, you know. And it says here, chemicals as nutrients in USDA organic infant formula. So, yeah, you got the little stamp of approval for uh, USDA organic. And this is just one product. They go in there and uh, uh, list all the ingredients. You can go in there and check that out, but it goes through calcium chloride, uh, inorganic calcium. It's an irritant and dangerous substance, and it just goes on and on. Corrosive and irritant calcium hydroxide, and it just keeps going and going. So let's see when there's a link between the infant formula and um, and infant deaths. Uh, you know that link doesn't. That's just that's just quackery science. So like I said, I'm laughing now because it's enough to drive uh, drive you insane and lose your mind. Budget 2012 calls for 2% uh, cigarette rise. So see, there you go. Uh, health campaigners are asking for more substance or substantial rises in cigarette duties, i.e. a 2% tax. And look at this because this affects me personally because I roll my own cigarettes. The campaigners are also calling for more tax on hand-rolled tobacco to stop smokers from switching to save money. So they're trying to save money. In Chicago, it's $10. I don't know what it is now. I mean, a couple of years ago, it was like 8 or $9 for a pack of cigarettes in the city. Um, a lot of people actually go over the border to Indiana uh, to avoid this, right? So then you end up rolling your own cigarettes and not only get away from those corporate cigarettes with all that crap in there, just maybe a little like less crap in it, uh, and to save money. So they're going to tax that, too, to roll that. And they did that here uh, in the States as well, too.
Monsanto's Roundup herbicide found to destroy testosterone, a testosterone in male fertility. And then look at this. You try to do something about it. Occupied D.C. protesters arrested outside Monsanto. So see, uh, cancer, fear, and denial is killing thousands. So cancer, the fear of getting treatment is killing thousands of people. And the eugenicists don't like that. Cancer patients die alone in hotel room after hospital sends him there to free up beds so ends up dying after they get turned away and i've come across a lot of stories with that especially in the uk patients lives being put at risk by drug shortage as medicines are sold abroad for bigger profit but you really don't want those drugs anyways i mean a lot of it's being caused by the same pharma complex and the uh, same um, uh, mentality as far as health goes but just based off that last article about people turning away and dying because they're refusing to get treatment, well, they don't even have the drugs, and they turn you away anyways. Foreigners to get 20,000 pounds HIV drugs for free on the NHS and proposals to stop the spread of the disease, which, again, created in a lab as a bioweapon. Schoolgirl 5 dies from meningitis after two uh, general practitioners say she had a bug and sent her home. Incredible. UK public authority wants to prohibit God from healing the sick. It says the group, the Christian group, have been regularly praying for the public outside Bath Abbey for three years running and offer to pray for people who are sick to receive healing. They were told by the British Standards Authority to stop declaring and making public whether, um, uh, basically, you know, that they can heal because such statements could mislead vulnerable people to believe that prayer could heal them uh, something as serious as cancer. Uh, bear with me here. More propaganda. A lot of it coming out of the UK. Women gain happiness from seeing their partner upset. So women are going to be happier to see their partner upset because it shows their relationship is strong. So let's see. Mother of nine was bludgeoned to death, hacked into pieces, and dumped into a wheel bin by her furious boyfriend because she was pregnant again. Women gain happiness from seeing their partner upset. So remember this, uh, hangover free alcohol, kind of like Soma. Then I found this article, cannabis-like chemical could help keep couch potato slim and they use genetically modified animals to produce uh, this chemical so instead of using the real thing no they're going to create a synthetic drug instead next up we have study says bt toxin in gm crops kills non-target species talking about animals study in switzerland found the larvae that they use exposed to the bt toxin a nefarious pesticide experience a much higher mortality rate and remember the birth effects really there were stillborns in that uh were what? They were the lambs. They were dying. And now we have cattle virus uh, hits nine more farms, and then it was on to uh, horses. And, of course, they're going to claim, claim uh, climate change was the result. And I've put this in there before, but uh, pathogen new to science found in Roundup Ready GM crops. So right back to it, Roundup Ready GM soybean and corn that may be responsible for high rates of infertility and spontaneous abortions in livestock. Dr. Mayo Wan Ho, uh, USDA senior scientist, who sent a emergency uh, message said pink slime for school lunch government buying seven million pounds of ammonia treated meat for meals so this is supposedly that pink slime that mcdonald's uh, got caught using and turned down i guess they're not using anymore while at the same time obama's wife michelle obama is pushing this let's move campaign to end obesity in a generation it's not about gay rights, it's about human rights. So basically, DC Think Tank is calling for the UN to enforce gay rights. This is the editor's note. UN and globalist enforcement of the r ridiculous wedge issue known simply as gay rights is designed to balkanize society even further and create more internal political divisions. Experts claim homophobia is disappearing in schools. That's because they're teaching them in preschool and kindergarten now about it. Along with sex education, Australian bill allows for sterilizations without parental consent at any age. The bill will allow for 12-year-olds to consent to psychosurgery and electroshock. U.S. Army suicides jump 80% following Iraq invasion. High-end Madame provided underage girls for wealthy clients. She's held on $2 million bail while the mega upload founder is denied bail. Let's hope she doesn't commit suicide before prison like the last DC mad. Thank you and God bless.